Well, the most obvious corporate parents are social workers, foster carers, and the local government. I'm sure we didn't know that. There are a number of different um, corporate parents, including healthcare, um, and they will fall into doctors, nurses, dentists, dietitians, and lab nurses. Um, they all have a duty and an obligation to make sure that we're safe. What about lab nurses? What do they do? Um, a lack nurse is, uh, it could be a woman um, or a man, depending on whether it's male or female, the other person. Um, but they basically check your weight, your height, um, try and gain into different activities to make you have a fitter life. Um, they'll also do sexual checks um, to make sure that you're safe and you know what you're doing. So I can go to them for So if I ever have any questions about sexual health, I can go to them. Yeah. Okay. They'll also give you leaflets and condoms and stuff to protect yourself. So what about leisure? Oh, like star cards? Yes, exactly. But well, star cards only fall into people with an RCT, unfortunately. Yeah. But they're, and they're only for caregivers, so they can help us go to the gym for free. So it helps us maintain a healthy life. It's a good scheme, though. It is a really good scheme. And of course, the worst government. Yeah. Have. Made pretty major corporate pay out. Yeah, they are, yeah. Um, for me, good qualities in corporate parenting can be someone who listens to you, um, who gives you the time to speak about things you can see in you, yeah. um, empowers you to give you a view on the things that you don't think is okay, so you've got an opportunity to stand up for yourself and fight for what you believe in. Um, and they don't... Um, well, they're not prejudiced, and they, they respect us, and if they respect us in our views, we will then respect them. Yeah, that's, that's totally true. It's a really good point. But I also think, you know, they should show you genuine empathy. Um, they should always care about you and respect you. And most importantly, there's got to be someone who actively supports you. Yeah. Um, for me, um, I reckon it's someone who, who's anti-discriminatory, um, who gives you love and security, so we don't um, so we don't come to harm, and also who praises us to succeed, such as our GCSEs. There is also a LAC award, and the LAC award is for children who are in K who are doing things that um, are challenging for other people, maybe such as climbing, doing sports, yeah. doing sports achievements, or there's a number of different things. It can be whether it's doing good in your GCSEs, um, doing a new skill, improving at home, um, and you also get a medal mm -hmm. and a certificate and either culture. Yeah. It's a good idea to do the lab awards. It makes you feel empowered. I can't think of the right words for it. But it, it gives a lot of young people an open mind that things can be possible yeah. if they choose to do it. It surely does. And it gives us hope for the future because We've been recognised that we've been good, and it also is good in our series as well. Really good in our series, yes. I think a successful corporate payout goes above and beyond the statutory duties that they have. Mm, yeah. um, promoting and asking of a relationship I think is important. But more than anything, we should act like a proper payout would act. Like give us love and support and praise and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Well, for me, it's about doing your best for us. And for helping us with um, training and employment, and for also helping us with the future, you know. Uh, and so, yeah. And also, such as, um, I had the opportunity to go on a traineeship, which is like an apprenticeship with the council. And it's a fantastic opportunity. Sadly, it's only open to RCT young people. But with that, you can try out different departments at the council, and you can get, like, I never thought I could earn 12,000 a year. But thanks to the scheme, I can now earn 12,000 a year. Wow. Yeah. Could you need to? Yeah. Things that are important for me from a, um, a corporate parent are things like um, the guidance they give you um, and they act like guardians and to protect you. Um, and they also take um, a corporate parenting more seriously. And that's the major issue that we all have as young people. Yeah. Well, leaving care is a major issue for us. The corporate parents should help us because, um, like the training flats, like they give us the opportunity to 
practice living on our own. Uh, so how many are there? There are three trainers that actively um, working with young people and there's one in one work and an untapped. Oh, yeah. I didn't realise that. You can stay up to a minimum of two weeks to start off with and then they'll check your progress. Um, they'll also check whether you've paid your bills, whether you've got enough food to, to live on. Um, whether if there was a problem with the water or you know the electrics then they'd make sure you knew how to get someone out to do it and to fix it. After then two weeks of it, you go back to your previous placement and stay there for the week and then be there for another six weeks after that. That sounds like a really good scheme. Yeah, it, it helps us get used to being on our own, you know, because once we move out, we'll be in a flat on our own, most probably. And there was only a few people in our CTUs who ever completed that training program. And I was one of them. That was one thank you. Wow. Did you go and train a flat? I didn't know, I didn't have the opportunity. I would like to, but I didn't. Yeah, sad. Yeah. It helped me a hell of a lot. I I was so scared even came okay, thanks to the training flat. I felt much more positive and happy to leave care. It reinforces positivity, like Tiff said. Um, it can, some can be negative. The thoughts can be negative, like being alone, um, how you're going to cope with, how you're going to manage to eat and get out of things and mm -hmm. with no help from anyone. But in time it does get easier. Yeah. Which is why more easier. Which is why it's important that once we leave care, our, our corporate parents offer guidance and support for us because we're going to need it more because we'll be vulnerable on our own. So, so yeah, accommodation and placement are really important. Um, if you ensure that the children and young people will feel safe and be safe, reinforce stability for children and young people um, so they can be settled and happy. But the most important is to prevent changes in the home, carer, social worker and schools. So what about if a child gets placed out of county? What about their education then? Yeah, it is a big problem because how are um, children and young people supposed to be able to study and go on to do well in their GCSEs if they haven't got that kind of stability? It is really well in and um, I just kind of wish that we could say something about it to our corporate parents. What would, what would, rather say, what would you like to say to them? That it's a, a fact that if you move a young person around so many times during the school, um, school periods, um, especially if they're in high school and they start with GCSEs and things like that, then it can dramatically affect their chances of becoming something they want to in the future. It can dramatically affect their, their GCSE results because they're not at time to study. Um, they've not had time to do their homework because they're worried when they're going to move next. Mm. So it's really important that a young person stays in that education. I'm not only that, but to have flexible help and support as well. Yeah. I think we should have the right to choose what school we go to. Like if we get, if we live in Bridgend and we move to RCT, I think we have the right to stay in school in Bridgend. Yes, definitely. If you started that year and you started that home in that school, you as a young person have the right to stay there. Yeah. It's because not you've already started doing all the different things and you if you go to a different school Can't and you start to look again, you want to make new friends, you've got to catch up on all the work that they've yeah. previously done because the work that they do in different schools is not exactly the same as the work that they do in your school. They do it all differently. Yeah. Do you think corporate parents should also uh, provide information on further education Definitely. Yeah. Work placement, volunteer, job opportunities, leisure, so there's, many different things. There's a lot of young people who are not employed, and that's due to the fact that they've been moved around for so long. They've not got the, the qualifications, the GCSEs, so they're doing the job that they've always wanted to do. So by giving some of the opportunity to do an apprenticeship, is working in their favour, because they can also train you on the job. I think they should sit down with us and say, what would you like to do in the future? And then if we want to say, like, social work, they should say, right, well, these are the skills you need to do to get social work, these are the, need, the courses you need to go on, and then help us and fund us to go on those courses. They have, they should help us and praise us, because I don't think they're doing enough to help and praise us with the future, making our work. Because at the end of the day, um, only we have the opportunities to make our lives better, they should help us make our lives better. But if you, if you, if, if you have no parents, then the corporate parents, whoever they may be, whether it's foster care or social workers or whoever, 
need to give you that support. Yeah. And if they don't give you that support in life, you're left, you're you're stranded and you're just left floating. And, you know, we need guidance and we need, because we don't know about our lives, we don't know where we want to be. There's a lot of young people who don't have parents of their own. No. So a corporate parent is just there to act that. as a parent, yeah. to give them the level of stability and the, you know, the freedom to do the things that they, they, they really want to do. But then again, even if you have got parents and you don't see your parents, it should still fall into the same category as someone who hasn't got any parents. Yeah, I totally agree. What do you think, Dan? Yeah, I mean... I think corporate parents should pledge us, pledge to basically help us with our future because um, the future isn't really important for care leavers and too many care leavers are just left to, to rot on the door. But we should help be helped to actively go on training courses or to actively go to university or to do employment or training or education, you know, we need to be taught. We need to be taught that it's more than just going down the route of unemployment. Do you think there should be more communication between uh, corporate parents and job centres? Definitely. There's a lack of communication yeah. between any corporate parent or any social worker or any foster parent. There's a lack of communication. Yeah. And a lot of things can get said, a lot of things can be misinterpreted. Maybe they're meant to sound that way, yeah. but then as soon as that young person hears it, then it's like World War Three for the Because these are our lives at the end of the day, and they have to make sure, and they have to realise that they are playing with our lives. It's not a game to us, you know, it's an actual... You put your life in someone's hands and it's a dangerous yeah. game to play because it's there, it's up to them. Yes. To give them a lot of support, because like I said, if they've not got any parents, at us. all, or any guidance or support or that's whatsoever, then it's going to be really difficult for them to get over that. Yeah. And they'll face a lot of challenges. Because at the end of the day, we are vulnerable and we need to be helped to not to feel so vulnerable and to get control of our lives. Mm. I would say that um, they should encourage us to participate as much in wider society as possible um, and to not feel as if we're outsiders. Yeah. Yeah, definitely.